Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our Form 1 Biology and the topic is on the cell. And today we are going to learn about preparation of temporary slides. Uh, temporary slides, uh, they are uh, slides that contain specimens that are freshly prepared. Temporary slides are slides that contain specimens that are freshly prepared. And most of these specimens come from plant tissues. We do not prefer making temporary slides of animal tissues uh, because of the fact that uh, there are so many diseases that can be transmitted uh, between the animals and humans through body tissues. So we prefer preparing temporary slides uh, for plant specimens, but for animal specimens we can use permanent slides. So we are saying that uh, temporary slides contain freshly prepared tissues, especially from plants, freshly prepared tissues, uh, especially those from plants. Procedure for preparation The procedure for preparation. One uh, is that uh, we cut very thin sections using sharp scalpel or razor blade, we must cut very thin sections uh, using sharp scalpel or razor blade to prevent distortion of the cells. To prevent distortion of the cell structures. So you don't want to distort or to interfere with the parts. Uh, another consideration is that uh, the specimens are then put in water to prevent desiccation, to prevent desiccation or drying up due to loss of moisture. So the moment you cut very thin sections using a sharp uh, razor blade to make sure that you don't distort the cells, you put them in, a, a, in, a, in water to prevent them from drying up. Uh, during staining, the other consideration uh, is that uh, the specimens are then stained. Mm. 
using a suitable stain, e.g. iodine, eosin, methylene blue, all those are stains that can be used to make the internal parts more distinct to make the internal parts more distinct and visible and still on this it is important to note that excess stain should be removed using a tissue paper. In case you do excess staining, uh, you need to remove the excess stain so that uh, there is more visibility. Also another uh, consideration is that uh, thin sections ensure that light penetration is easier. Light penetration is easier during examination. by use of a microscope. So those are some of the considerations that uh, we make when you are preparing temporary slides, which are freshly prepared slides. No, freshly prepared uh, tissues, especially those from plants. We need to cut very thin sections using sharp razor blade to prevent distortion. The specimens are then put in water to prevent desiccation, drying up. Then we stain using a suitable uh, stain such as iodine, eosin, and methylene blue to make the internal parts more distinct and visible. And we are saying that in case there is excess stain, it should be removed using a tissue paper. Then the thin sections ensure that uh, light penetration is easier. Um, <clears throat> the other aspect that we shall discuss is to estimate the size of a cell. To estimate the size of a cell and the procedure is as follows. One, I place a ruler showing the millimeters mark. on a microscope stage to determine the field of view. So once you place a ruler on a microscope uh, slide, you observe uh, the field of view as shown. So you will see the markings of the millimeters. Then count 
the fully occupied spaces to determine the diameter or field of view. So in this case, you can have one, two, three, and four. So these are the millimeter marks. And in this case, we can say that uh, the first one is maybe halfway occupied. So the diameter of field of view is equals to 4.5. That is, this is a half. If the first one is a halfway occupied, 4.5 millimeters, which is equals to 4.5 times 1,000, which is 4,500 micrometers. So 1,000 micrometers make one millimeter. So we must get uh, the diameter of field of view in micrometers. Uh, then after that, place the slide containing the specimen and count how many cells. are observed. So for example, if that is the field of view and these are the cells, So those are five. This one shows five cells. And that is uh, the field of view. So, then number D, lastly, calculate the size of each cell using the formula size of one cell is equals to Diameter of field of view divided by the number of cells. So in this case, the diameter of the field of view was 4,500 micrometers. And we had five cells, so divide by five. So that comes to about 900. So each cell will be 900 micrometers. So we have determined 
the size of uh, each cell. So basically, uh, we've learned how to prepare temporary slides and how to estimate the size of the cell. Follow the procedure. First of all, determine the field of view using a ruler, the side that has millimeter marks. Then count the fully occupied spaces. Here there are four and then a halfway occupied. So 4.5 millimeters change into micrometers multiply by a thousand. You get 4,500 micrometers. I remove the ruler, place the slide containing the specimen and count how many cells can be observed. In case it shows five cells like this, just for instance, it means that there are five cells within this diameter or field of view. So one cell is equal to the diameter of field of view over the number of cells. And that is exactly what you get. So we'll have uh, an assignment on that. So the assignment uh, for today, during preparation of temporary slides, why do we do the following? Add the stain, cut thin sections, use a sharp scalpel blade, and put the specimens in water. So you give a reason why we do each one of those things. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye.